careless of Odinson to leave you here alone. In my timeline, Asgard has fallen. The gods said the end of days would cast the Ten Realms into ice and darkness. Instead, it was fire and blood. Odinson never returned from Earth, and without his son to protect Asgard from outside influence, the Allfather went mad. Mjolnir chose me to take up the mantle. But it was too late. Odin had locked the Allmother away, and declared those loyal to her as his enemy. And if he had to destroy Asgard to root out rebellion, so be it. I was used to fighting battles. I was used to facing down darkness. But this... Even I had to admit, I needed help. So, I made a deal with the last person in the Ten Realms I would ever turn to. My father always said, if a man can't smile without making you uneasy, that man is rotten to the core. But sometimes you have to make compromises. And compromises have a price. I didn't want to pay. But you can't trick the god of mischief. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> Avengers, follow me! This is Dr. Jane Foster. It's uh, December 15th, 7.42 p.m. The results of my biopsy came in this morning. I've just been sleeping most of the day. Guess I thought if I wasn't conscious, I wouldn't have to face reality. Cancer. God. It's metastasized, they said. Spread to my lymph nodes and everything. I just keep thinking, it, if I was paying more attention, if, if I wasn't so obsessed with thinking it was the inhuman disease, I, I could have seen it coming. But now it's... What am I going to tell Thor? Are our gods even mentally equipped to deal with mortality? I, I, I mean, this was an inevitability, but I, I didn't think it would be so soon. Yeah. I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll be fine. I'll talk with the oncologist tomorrow and, and we'll get it... We'll get it sorted. And in the meantime, I've got to make some calls. If AIM is blaming this inhuman disease and masking the real diagnoses, someone's got to fight back. And I will. Until this thing kills me. And the Allfather said I had no fight in me. Look who's fighting now, old man. Thor, why are you here? I'm here to help you. To take care of you. If Asgardians have some magical cure for cancer, I'm all ears. Uh, 
Have you seen the news? They're saying the Avengers are back. They have someone new with them. Now that part of my life is over. Well, then Asgard could use your help. It sounds like you're trying to make me leave. I'm dying. My sense of taste is shot. I spend most of my days sleeping, and my memory is going. I'm not the... I'm not going to make you watch me die. Not when there's still good you can do. The world needs you. The Avengers need you. No, I put the hammer down. I... I don't intend to pick it back up. AIM is building an army. Y and you know Tarleton and Monica aren't going to stop until the Avengers are beaten into the ground. Please, I don't want to talk about this. Damn it, Thor. I won't be your excuse to wallow. There are people who need you. You need me. Jane. Mjolnir. How did you... If you won't fight for those who can't, if you won't fulfill your responsibilities, then I will. This is Dr. Jane Foster. March 22nd. A second round. <laughs> More like the first, right? <laughs> Radiation every day and twice on Fridays. Chemo once a week. And then I become Thor and I start from scratch. Rinse and repeat. The vomiting I expected. Even the stomatitis and loss of taste, but the hearing, that was a surprise. The doctors aren't sure why I haven't reached the 30% benchmark yet. But it's not like I can tell them that whatever Asgardian magic Mjolnir uses negates the therapy treatments. And. I can't put the hammer down just so I can recover. I'm not sick when I'm Thor. I feel... like me again. For a little while. I uh, can't look at myself in the mirror anymore. I look like a corpse. My dad used to tell me that you can do anything for six months. I keep trying to tell myself that. Keep thinking, if this is one less radiation session, you're one step closer to being done. I can do anything for six months. <laughs> oh, I wish you were still here, Dad. I wish you could tell me to keep going, to keep fighting. Every day I, I walk out of the hospital and I, I feel like I won't be able to walk back in. I don't know how much more I can take. I have to keep going. With Odin's son out of the picture, Asgard is on the brink of civil war. I can't let go now. My God. Do I want to? Can't sleep? Side effect of hopping timelines, I guess. What's your excuse? Oh, late night sparring session. Stark wanted to test out how much electricity his new suit could withstand. And what was the verdict? He is going to need a new suit entirely. How noble. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> come now, Thor. 
Uh, regale me with tales of your universe. We can at least while away the hours with stories. Not much to regale, I'm afraid. My Asgard is gone. The Allfather went mad, locked away the Allmother, and led the Asgardians down a path of civil war. I tried to stop it, did whatever I could, but still. Ragnarok? Not in the way that Odinson had told me. I was expecting wolves and serpents, but in the end it was just gods fighting each other. And they called Midgardians selfish. What of my father? Did he... I made a deal. Odin wasn't going to stop. There were whispers of him invading Midgard. So, I went to Jotunheim. And met with Loki. And we slayed Odin together. You cannot trust my brother. I am well aware of that. What was the bargain? Jane, what did you give him? Just my word. I would find Odinson and give him back Mjolnir. No more Goddess of Thunder. Well, I suppose we're the lucky ones then. It'd be a shame for you to give up the hammer. It doesn't make you uncomfortable? Not at all. I can't think of anyone more worthy than Dr. Jane Foster. This is... Thor. May 12th. I've been in contact with this timeline's Jane Foster since my arrival. She's... healthy. It seems the only difference in our timelines was that she wasn't at A-Day. So? Not the inhuman disease that Monica kept speaking about, but probably some exposure to the Terrigen that day led to the cancer. Dr. Foster and I are swapping notes, and she's going to follow up and see if there are any patients in this timeline that were affected by the Terrigen leak. Still, it's nice to know that there's at least one reality where I'm happy. This Odinson looks at me differently. I don't think it's guilt. Not entirely. It's almost as if he can see my Odinson's failure through my mere existence. And he's disappointed in him. I can't say I disagree. I can't go back. I don't want to go back. There's nothing waiting for me back there, except a ruined Asgard and a deal with a devil. Would it be so bad if I stayed? If I remained like this, powerful and healthy and doing good work? I like being Thor. It feels right. Kamala gave me a friendship bracelet today. She's the best of us in all our timelines. And I want to be here for her. I don't think that's so bad. <laughs>